All right, so what I'm gonna be showing you today is how you can do your own custom email templates right in Canva and upload them to ConvertKit. Um, if you don't know about ConvertKit, they have a lot of pre-made templates. They're uh, okay, I guess, <laughs> but you can make your emails really personalized and make them really pop if you make your own emails. How are you gonna do that in Canva? Pretty much the same way you do everything else in Canva. You're gonna have your text, you're gonna have your uh, fonts, you're gonna have your pictures. You can even do video and all kind of stuff. So this particular five day challenge sequence of emails is basically anyone who is gonna be doing some type of Facebook challenge, trying to grow their Facebook group and also grow their email list. Um, a little tidbit for you, if you have a Facebook group or are thinking about starting one, you might want to make the email a part of your questions when you are letting somebody in your group. If you don't have a public group that people can just join automatically, um, if you have questions you want them to answer before they can join, I suggest making them put an email in as a way to build your email list. But anyway, what we are here to talk about today is creating custom emails and then putting them into ConvertKit. Your mileage may vary on other email platforms like MailChimp or SendGrid. I'm not super familiar with those. I think you can do it on MailChimp, but uh, don't quote me. So for this particular video, we're gonna focus on ConvertKit. So anyway, we are in Canva right now. This is the template. This is exactly what it looks like. This will be up for sale and the link will be in the description below. So don't worry if you're looking like, dang, I want that. Um, Black Friday is coming up, so you're going to want to have something you can send out. You really should have had your Black Friday stuff together already if you were going to do this kind of thing, but that's okay. There's still time, and then you can always use this at a different time of the year. Um, it is not holiday specific. It is kind of evergreen, and it's just for Facebook challenges and Facebook group challenges, so it's fine. So anyway, you have your stuff here. Anything in pink is editable or is what you should edit. Let me just put it that way. Now you can change whatever you want. If you don't like the way this is worded, you can change everything for real. But to make it easier for you and make it plug and play, you would just change anything that's in pink. So, you know, we're going to just for the sake of this video call this the Black Friday challenge. I'm not going to edit each thing. I'm just doing that for now. Um, this space up here is if you want to put a, an email header or put your logo up there. You can also change the color um, background of this. If you don't want it to be white, you can make it some other color. You can make it beige. You can make it whatever. You know, If you wanted to make it something that matches your branding um, and then just change the font so it you know shows up easier. You can do all of that. Um, obviously, you can add photos. Um, you know, you can pick from stock photos or you can add your own. I'm going to just put Facebook. Ah, can't type Facebook group. <clears throat> and I'm just going to drag this picture over there. Up to you. The square is there because it's easier to fit into the email template but that's the beauty of these templates they're super customizable you can do whatever you want i'm going to change this back to white for the sake of our video and for the sake of time um, and as you see everything is already laid out for you here you're going to put the name of you know the day one whatever you're focusing on for day one a photo of your post that you made in facebook because this is a challenge for you too to be consistent and kind of keep you accountable too so you can post your photo uh, or whatever your post was in facebook and put that in there it's already laid out like what you want them to do, why you want them to do it, and how they're going to do it, or how you're going to teach them how to do it. Um, and then the challenge for day one. So this is a challenge that you're doing, so you do have to give them something to do, um, whether that's posting on social media however many times or whatever it is, you're going to have a video, and this is where you put your link. I've done this in other videos, but I'll do it here anyway. When you want to add a link to something like a button, you can click on this whole thing or you can just click on the text, highlight it, and you can add a link. 
I'm going to just say www.brandyourart.com because shameless plug, right? Hit the enter key and link at it. Every, every video I've done, pretty much I'll tell you how to do that. But <laughs> why not do it on this one too? Make sure everything is lined up. You got your middle line there. Make sure it's lined up. Um, you, this challenge comes with a Q&A. You would add the day and time of the session daily assignment repeating it you can take this out if you feel like that's going to be too much work for you as the group leader take it out change it up maybe there won't be a q a every day maybe there'll be a q a at the end of the challenge it's totally customizable and up to you um and then a link to your facebook post so that would be the same thing um you know when you go on your facebook post you would just click the share button let me go over there and actually do that post and click share copy link bam so we are copying the link and we are going to go back over here to our day one challenge and then we would take this out now you're going to want to delete these little carrots that's what they're called if you think about it it's like a carrot turned on the side but it's not spelled the same way totally doesn't matter um, but you can highlight the word here and just paste your link to your post right there I always change my links to blue just for I feel like it makes it easier for people to know that that's a link and then you can change this text to black if you want it's uh, you know up to you whatever color you want that to be same thing with that you would change all of that right okay cool so that's how you would add your link to your facebook group post and then obviously your name you know your name you know what to do that's that's the easy part um let me undo this because this is my actual template that i am <laughs> linking to so i don't want anybody to be like well what the heck is this all right cool so we got our our email together actually let me delete these pages all right cool so we got the we got our email together now how are we getting this to show up in convert kit i'm going to add some photos back in just for the sake of you know convert kit you are going to go up to this area here you're going to click email templates and you're going to click new email template there are one two three four five six seven eight nine templates that they give you that are pre-made these are plug and play as well they're just not as customized and you know they may not do what you want them to do so to avoid all of that you can use your canva template that you edit how you want to edit with your photos already done for you all the text is there you just go ahead and copy and paste if you know how to copy and paste you can do this so you're going to click on custom html we're going to name this test template number one and then we are going to hop back over to our challenge email in canva and this is how it looks i have a photo here just a little tidbit of information try to use only photos in the email templates when you're doing html you can use um video but your mileage may vary and it may cause you issues with it loading correctly it may freeze things up so just to avoid that i would say use photos uh just a static photo a png or jpg file after you're good with how your email looks over here, you'll go up here to the share arrow in the corner. And then you'll go all the way down to the bottom where it says more. And then you'll go here where it says embed. This little, the two carrots with the slash in the middle. And then this is where you're gonna get your HTML embed code from. You don't have to try to copy everything that's in this line. Just click the word copy. It'll copy it for you head on back to convert kit template html it tells you exactly what to do paste the full html of your template below you're going to paste it and then you are going to save it 
And then once it's saved, you can go back into it to preview it. And this is how your email will look. So whatever you did over there on Canva is how it will look, right? Now look at this. Now this is the name of my other company, Write Up Services. So since I'm the one that created the template, this five day challenge email sequence template is over there on Write Up Services. And it's gonna show you that and it's gonna take that person back to that if you don't delete it. So let me show you how to delete that little tidbit of information obviously this part will say your canva username when you create your own copy but if you don't want that in there you can take that out so to do that really all you're gonna do is go here where it says day one five day challenge email sequence templates and you're gonna go all the way back here to where that carrot is. Do not go past there. Stay right where you're at. Then take that off, all of that on the bottom. Take all of that off. Click preview layout again. Your email is still there. Everything else that you need is there and that link at the bottom is gone and that reference to your username on canva is gone so nobody even has to know you made this in canva always remember to do that it's going to add that in there automatically in your code so always remember to go up there don't go past this little last line that says the slash with the div and the two carrots on the either side don't delete your carrot at the end of this or it will mess up your template so to repeat, let me undo what I just did so you can see what I did. Everything after the word slash DIV with that carrot, everything after the carrot, you're going to highlight that and you're gonna delete it. Got it? So if you leave it there, it's gonna look like this with this link at the bottom. And if you delete it, it's gonna look like this with no link at the bottom. So that's how you do it. And you would repeat the process for each template. And let me show you uh, what we got going on here. So each template is gonna be its own separate thing in Canva. I was about to say is each template is gonna be its own separate, te separate template. But yes, each each one will be editable by itself. So you have five, you're gonna have five different links to click on to get to each day's template. And they are not all the same because I know you're thinking like, oh, all I have to do is just change the, you know, day one to day two. They are not all the same. They are a little different. So I'm gonna show you that now. So let me go back to my home page, and I'm gonna get challenge num day number two, right? Okay, so it's small, but that's fine. All right, cool. So since this is a five day challenge, this is already pre-written for you. It says, can, can you believe you're already 20% of the way through this challenge, right? Okay, so yeah, five, <laughs> five day challenge. If you already done with one day, that's 20%. Just for the mathematicians in the room, same thing, right? So this is personalized to the, each day. It's not all the same. And then if you go down to the bottom here, you'll see there are some PS stuff down here. So if you miss day one of the challenge, this is the topic blah 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 this is the training and then you know a place for you to add your link for the day one training in your group in facebook um same way i showed you how to add the link from your post it's the same thing when you're sharing a video how to add that link um, and just as a refresher if you need to add a link you just highlight what you want to link go up here where it has those two links click on it type in whatever you want to type in and make sure the link is working or whatever. You can test your links, obviously. Um, you test the link by just literally typing it and then copying it, putting it into your browser and making sure it actually is taking you where you said it wanted you to go. It definitely took me to Facebook, so we're good there. 
um, I'm going to undo that because like I said, these are the real <laughs> templates. So yeah, each day, if each day is different and this is a great way, uh, especially during black Friday for you to get your email list built, get your group, some traction and really solidify your voice as an authority on whatever your niche is. So thank you for watching. If you are interested in buying these templates, the link is down in the description. You can purchase these templates on my Etsy shop or on brandyourart.com. Obviously, anything I drop there will be a sale in the first couple of weeks, so get it while you can. I'm gonna keep this on sale pretty much until maybe Thanksgiving. So, you know, you got a little bit of time to get this on sale and to get your Black Friday stuff set up. If you want to hold it off to the new year, you can do that too, but you'll be ready to go. You'll be prepared and you don't have to worry about writing these emails yourself and coming up with what to say. It's already done for you. You're welcome. All right, y'all. Thank you so much. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend.